to a local talk right here on Nextdoor Radio, nextdoorradio.com and the Nextdoor Radio app. Hope you're having a beautiful day on this July 15th and you're tuned in to local talk. Everything we do is recorded so you can listen back to all of our uh, podcasts and things like that on our website at nextdoorradio.com. we got a good show lined up for you here today. Our first segment, Mr. Clay with Granville Bicycle Works, part of our business spotlight joins us. My friend, what's going on? How are you? Well, not much. I'm doing great this morning. How are you doing? I appreciate, appreciate you coming into the radio station. Before we kind of dive deep into everything that Granville Bicycle Works uh, does, uh, let's really introduce you, kind of background, kind of your, your history of getting into something like this. Yeah, so um, I'm actually originally from Oxford. My family moved here when I was uh, seven, and I lived here until I graduated high school and then went down to ECU for a couple of years. Um, tried living down in Raleigh and uh, didn't like it as much as the country, so my wife and I moved back here last July and I've been loving, been loving being back. Yeah, I mean, so you went to ECU again. Go Pirates, should you say? My my wife is a uh, NC State grad, so you know. And but her family is a lot of them went to ECU, so you probably know half of them. Um, but again, you're tuned into our business spotlight here on Next Already and our local talk program. So Granville B- uh, Bicycle Works. How how'd you kind of get into this program and what brought it to here in Granville County? Yeah, so um, I've worked in the bike industry for uh, three years. I managed a bike shop down in Raleigh um, when I first got out of college, and I loved it. Um, I was uh, one of the most fun jobs I ever had. Cycling has been a passion of mine since college. Um, so I got out of that industry and been bouncing around, and then when I moved back up here, I um, was just looking for uh, some things to do in my free time and love repairing bikes, love cycling in general. So I decided to start doing some repairs. Um, we started business in April of uh, this year, 2022, and I figured it'd start with a few repairs every week or so, and I've honestly been just blown away by the response from yeah. Granville County community and how many people have reached out and been supportive and uh, the number of just excited cyclers there are here. And it's, it's been awesome. But yeah, it's just, just been a passion of mine uh, that I love to do, something I do for fun. I'd honestly probably do it if it wasn't a business. Yeah. Um, and it's just been great. It's, well, that's what I, that's what I tell people all the time. Not only about the the radio station in general, but if you can wake up every single day and truly love what you do, it's really not a job. I mean, oh, yeah. so that sounds something like what you have going on. Been doing it since you uh, your passion since college. Um, so, what has been the hardest part about starting something like this? Not only in Granville County, but a for a small business to start something like this. Yeah. Um, well, the hardest part I've had some experience in the bicycle industry, but um, was working for a larger shop that already had all the legit logistics and vendors and all that stuff set up so it's just been kind of getting used to doing it all by myself um but it's been fun it's been a fun journey it's uh, uh nothing will teach you faster than uh, starting your own business yeah. and having to figure it out yeah as i'm sure you know um but so it's been great trying to figure out all the logistical scheduling uh, managing my time and um it's just been just been a great experience so you launched uh, you said april yes sir is that correct so where where are you currently located do you do it at the house or you do it in a you know standalone building how does that work yeah so i do most repairs um on site actually we do pretty much mostly mobile oh, repairs fantastic. so we will uh that was one of the things granville county is a big county and a lot if you're like me i live about 15 minutes north of oxford so out in the country um it's hard to uh sometimes get places or i mean i know if you got kids or something you're busy you don't always have time to drop your bike off at the Great shop that's yeah. right so we wanted to do uh kind of a mobile repair um so most repairs i will just come to your house i'll look at your bike and i'll do it right there on your porch in your driveway get it all tuned up if it's a more major repair that takes some more time where i need to take parts off and clean them or reassemble i'll take that back mm-hmm. to my uh workshop in my house knock that out usually takes a couple days depending on um uh, what parts we need to get and all that stuff it's uh i try to make it convenient that was one of my goals uh with starting this was not only is it something fun that i enjoy doing but i wanted to kind of promote and make cycling uh, more accessible in Granville County. And I figured an easy way to do that is to come to you, come to you, yeah. take care of it and make it as easy as possible for you to keep your bike up and running and keep you riding and doing the fun stuff. Hey, Clay joins us here. He is with Granville Bicycle Works, a mobile repair uh, bicycle repair man, should you say. I guess that's the correct word. Uh, but again, right here on our business spotlight and next door radio local talk. Obviously, this is a project that when you go to a for a customer's house, you look at this bicycle. What has been the most 
fun about not only getting to meet new people in the area of Granville County, but when you get to this on site, what has been the most fun about that? Um, the most fun is just seeing the variety of cyclists in um, Granville County. Um, I know cycling as a sport, it has a, especially road cycling, can have a reputation of being a little gatekeepy and a little uh, elite sometimes, but I have I got started in cycling with a you know $100 hybrid bike okay. that I was using to ride around college, and I rode that thing into the ground. Um, so I'm a big proponent of cycling is for everybody. It doesn't matter if you ride a you know $100 bike from Walmart and that's what you like to ride around on, or if you have a $3,000 racing bike. I think the more people riding on any type of bike, the better. So it's just been really fun to get to see the variety because I've gotten to work on everything from, you know, those entry-level Walmart bikes to some high-level carbon fiber racing bikes, and every single one has been passionate about it. They love it. It's fun. It's a great way to get out and get exercise, see Granville County, which I think is a, a beautiful place and has a bunch of beautiful places to ride. Um, so it's just been really cool to see the variety of people um, that enjoy the sport around here and the amount of people that enjoy the sport around here. Like, I honestly was um, didn't realize how many people there were that loved riding their bike mm -hmm. out here in, in Oxford and Granville County. And Clearly, you've gone around Granville County and, and riding in multi parks and, you know, trails and stuff like that. Where is the, the one of your favorite spots here in Granville County? One of my favorite spots, um, I live up on the north end of Granville County um, towards the Virginia border, so I really love riding in the country roads out in the mountain creek grassy creek area um it's quiet it's just beautiful you get to ride past all these beautiful fields all these beautiful wooded trees areas so that's one of my favorite areas to ride um but since moving back last year i've been trying to ride more around town and i mean and you know you're downtown here in downtown oxford mm -hmm. and with all the new stuff we've got the brewery strong arm all the other new restaurants around downtown oxford has been super fun mm -hmm. to ride around just even if it's not like a crazy serious ride just be able to hop on my bike ride around you know go to yeah. lunch or something with my wife go to dinner um ride the bikes around it's been awesome Oh, I love that. Of course, don't forget about the new distillery coming coming up here potentially in, in October. Yeah. So that's I'm, one I'm pretty excited about that in general. <laughs> Again, you're tuned in to the Business Spotlight here on Nextdoor Radio, nextdoorradio.com, and the Nextdoor Radio app. We're here at Clay. He's with the Granville Bicycle Works, brand new business uh, repairing your favorite bicycle. Uh, so what are what are your long-term goals when it comes to something like this? How, how are you planning on uh, moving forward? Yeah, so long-term, um, right now this is uh, my part-time job um, on top of my regular job so long term be awesome if i could do this full time and honestly i thought it would take a lot longer but with the response i'll be getting it's much closer in the future than Love that. I had originally hoped, which is awesome. Um, so long term, um, we definitely want to expand um, and continue with the mobile service because I've just found, um, even in the few months that I've been in business doing it personally, um, that that is just a great way to keep people in the sport. Um, it's convenient. It's easy um, for people. And it just keeps people, like I said, doing the fun part and out riding your bike. Yeah. Uh, having to schedule more time in what most people already have a pretty busy schedule and having to pick up, drop off your bike and all that. Um, but long term, in the next several years, we would love to have a shop, um, a, stand, a brick and mortar shop um, where people can come in because that's one of my favorite things about cycling is the community. I love, I mean, when I was in college, that's my favorite things to do is I would just go like hang out at the bike shop. They probably got super annoyed at me just being in there, <laughs> being a co broke college kid, hanging around talking and not buying a whole lot. But I, I love that environment. Um, so I'd love to bring some of that to uh, Oxford in the near future and just grow our cycling community that's that's already here and um wants to get connected um and and just grow that community um i'm also uh, very interested i know there are several plans and potential plans for greenways and other riding areas in oxford to kind of increase the uh, accessibility for cycling and the places for people to ride um so that's something we've been trying to get learn more about and get more involved in in the last couple months um so that we can just grow the resources for riders in the area I absolutely love it. Now, is there any uh, and final question for you here, Clay? Is there any uh, groups or events that you have coming up that you know of that either a club that you get around and just ride here in Granville County? Yeah, um, there aren't any that I'm aware of now. I will say we are. I am working on with several other cyclists here on a, uh, a regular group ride um, that we're going to start um, hopefully in the near future um, once we can kind of get more of a schedule. But we've had a lot of people interested in that. So uh, my first immediate goal as far as community is to try to get a regular group ride so we can get people connected and riding together more often and i know there's a bunch of people that are hungry for that and and ready to start something like that so hopefully in the near future we'll have an announcement on a more regular group ride um as for local events i know it's not in granville county but i know vance uh county is having a bike roadie coming up i believe august 13th um to teach bike safety and stuff for kids so and i think that's a great resource 
um, for anybody because uh, like most people I started riding a bike when I was like five yeah. so I think it's a great resource to teach kids how to be safe to get them on the bike and make it a fun event and other than that um, that's pretty much all we've got coming up right now but we do anytime I have a local event I try to post it on my Facebook and my mm-hmm. Instagram which is just Granville Bicycle Works um, to keep people updated and informed and keep the word out I love it my friend well, how can our listeners find some more information about you of course you mentioned did the social media shout outs there but how can they give contact you email you uh, what's the best way to get a hold of you yeah um honestly social media is one of the best ways to get a hold of me um that's got all my information on there it has all my pricings for all my tune-ups and all the different options we have for any repairs you might need you can also uh schedule appointments on there uh, it has my email which is granville bicycle works at gmail.com you can email me there or you can call or text me at uh, my number which is 919-725-8777 um and we get you scheduled figure out what you need and we get rock and rolling from there that's glad i appreciate you my friend appreciate you for coming in i know you are a busy individual especially that with the the part-time doing this but a full-time uh, i know i've done did that for many many years so congratulations on being so successful early in the stages of what you're doing i wish you nothing but the best okay i appreciate it i've been blessed and i appreciate it great to be here absolutely again he is clay with granville bicycle works right here on our local talk program and our business spotlight